frying pan into the fire. Yo, what's up? This is your boy Dramatic. Today we got another one of my favorite rappers, Turning Up the Bottle by Ritz, off of his Next to Nothing album, which is a great album. So if you haven't heard it, make sure you go check that out. But the last verse on this song is one of the best verses I've ever heard, bar none. Not kidding. That's why I wanted to react to this song. I've heard it a few times. I love the song myself, so just want to show it to you. Here we go. Keepers a cook at a dead end job, 26 years old. She moved back to Atlanta, fucked over by her father, she had got this song. He was a fresh set of rapper, the after so long, he didn't quit and lost hope. She was addicted to meth, so was everybody living in the household. So right off jump, it's got a real nice heartfelt melody, which is kind of a simple piano and some drums. But he starts to tell a story, and Ritz is one of the best storytellers in hip hop. Not a whole lot of people know about Ritz, but the ones that do know how good he is at really painting a picture and telling a story. So he starts it off kind of talking about this low-income family that's addicted to meth and things just kind of go sideways for him and some of the issues that they're about to go through. Anyway, that's how it starts, so let's get back to it. But what they had to come up was a fucked up like shit she experienced he had gone through too. Both of them thought that the world was against them. Childhood in a sense gone too soon. They hooked up that the sheep moved in. With 10 minutes permanent, she was detoxing. He did meth to it, helped them write songs, but they quit writing shit the minute she got clean. You would think that things got better, but they didn't, cause instead of doing drugs, they just sit around and drink. Day in and day out, cause they hate me, the soul, but they broke, cause they choke, and they think that. We're just talking about when he doesn't have meth, he can't even write or get any songs done and do what he's trying to do. So it makes me wonder if Ritz is speaking in third person here and referring to himself, actually. You know how people will do that in a song and be like, oh, it's a story about this guy, but really they're talking about themselves. I have no idea, so don't mark my words on that, but who knows? Everything is bad, but it all seems okay. When we're turning on the bottle, trying to see the sun, but the sky seems so gray. Drowning in our sorrow, oh, 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 oh. You know how in hip hop sometimes rappers like to sing, but they probably shouldn't? Well,. Well, there's a lot of rappers nowadays that sound decent because the producers can make them sound good. You know, auto-tune and all that. But there's also other effects, tricks to make people sound better. But Ritz is one of those guys that kind of shows that you don't have to be able to sing necessarily to make great hooks. He sings a lot of his hooks, and you can tell he's not the greatest singer in the world. But he gets it done. I don't even think I've ever heard anything bad by Ritz. Matter of fact, I don't even think I've ever heard a bad song by Ritz. His parents kicked them out, they were sick of the drinking, it was constant They moved in with a sister and her fiance at the spot where her mom lived Now they could drink without a conscience, no one was there to tell him it was time to grow up She worked nights at the bar, but they shared one car He would pick her up a drive home drunk, when they drink him was the only time that life don't suck Only problem was they would fight so much, had to hide any guns in the house Cause they might go nuts, shoot each other or they might go fuck But first he's kind of talking about the dope and all that And now he's talking about how she's a big drinker and things are getting really bad with the alcohol it's just things are getting worse and they're fighting all the time And it's just blah, they blah, so just keep listening it could go either way. Oh, nine came out of yours to away. Both of them got laid off. So did the mom and the sister. Face of a closure, but dope with a state. No dope for the way. Bearing noodles every night. They applied everywhere to try to get a job. Looking like white trash. Wearing heavy down close to the job. Interviews, so nobody give a car. Running out of time, running out of alcohol. Maybe if they sober dope, then the shit would change. But instead, they keep on nipping in the piggy bank. Up in the dick of stuff, like it's something cheap to drink because. You see what I mean? He's chopping, he's going fast, everything's double time, but you can understand every single word clear as day. I was talking about how Kong can do that really well, but he does it even better. So this next verse is probably one of the greatest verses of all time in history, mankind, Mother Earth, the universe, any of that. First time I ever heard this verse, I just couldn't even really comprehend what was going on. He kind of raps so fast, but it sounds slow. The storytelling is perfect, but clear to a point where it makes it sound like he's literally rapping at a slow pace. It's weird, but you'll see what I mean. I don't even want to stop this verse because he raps from beginning to end in like one breath. After listening like a million times, I think he breathes once. 
Keep it to a specialist, a doctor said he had an ulcer in his stomach Probably cause he didn't, then he tried to make us so throw up and vomit Make it rude so we could drink us, he's a drunk and he's a glutton But the combination's common, but the fact that he was young with stomach problems Was alarming, but the also wasn't cancerous Why then he made a promise to his mom that he would quit He's full of shit, he wasn't honest Cause he only went a month and started chugging out a bottle she was getting sick and I was shaking, she's afraid cause everything she gave was coming up And then she made a date to see the daughter, told him she's an alcoholic So they had to live and know the secret, knowing them influence But below the level, plus the color of her skin and eyes are turning on her yellow Indicating that she may have got cirrhosis of the liver, maybe hepatitis, maybe nothing Told her not to drink a liquor, liquor, but she never listened, turning up that bottle Here is my review of this song The beat to me is perfect for what he's trying to do It's a storytelling song, it's not a banger He's just trying to present something and I felt like the beat did its job so I'm going to give the beat a 4. The chorus is great. He can sing with effects better than anybody in the game. I don't know how he does it. I bet if the guy singing in the shower or singing in the car it sounds terrible. But it sounds absolutely excellent every time he does a hook. So I'm giving him a 4 on his hook also. The flow. <sighs> Dude, like, do I even have to even talk about it? How butter does your flow have to be before people give you props, right? It's a 5. Content-wise, he just told a crazy-ass story from beginning to end about like a typical family that's addicted to drugs and alcohol and really ends with a bad ending. It is what it is, right? But it's a great song, great story, and for rapping that fast, he sure did a hell of a job of telling the story. So that's a five all day long. So this song, as much as I would like to give it a five, like I do all my favorite songs, I'm gonna give it a four and a half to be reasonable. That's off of his Next to Nothing album. Great album, go check it out. All of his music's great. If you haven't heard White Rap or any of his other stuff, I would go look at that stuff too. This is Dramatic Reviews. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. Salute to the fam. I'm out. Peace.